I'm, I guess you call a youth motivational speaker. And also, I am a professional freestyle rapper. So, we're going to start by having a little bit of fun. Now, all my people up in the front, I need you to participate. What I need you to do is have something in your hand. Whatever you have in your hand, I'm going to have to rap about. Please don't hand me a napkin, please. Thank you. All right? Whatever it is you got. Thank you. 
change the mind after this. Hope I can change the mind. Now, what you guys do here in high school, it's important. What you guys do here, it matters a lot. You know, you've got educated, you've had some experiences. This is an important part of your life. But one thing you need to understand is that most people don't find what they're good at while they're in high school. Most people don't find their talents. It doesn't mean they don't have a talent. It just means that they didn't find it. Now think about this for a second. An airline pilot, a chef, an entrepreneur, a television reporter. How are you going to find those talents while you're sitting in your English class or your biology class? You can't find those talents. Me, myself, I, you know, I found out that I was a good speaker, but I found out when I was like in my mid-20s. It was a later time in my life. And if you're like most people, yeah, I'm older than 25. Yes. I know, it's crazy. I've got the baby face tail and the Botox, it's all good. But, but I didn't find my talents until I was older. You know, and, and that's what's going to be for you. I believe that every person has something that they're good at, maybe even great at. When I was a middle school teacher, I had a lot of kids that had learning disabilities. They were diagnosed with special education. And it never ceased to amaze me when those kids would show brilliance and talent in something that they could go on and do in the future and make a living from. It never ceased to amaze me when those kids who had so much problems in my class just understanding some basic social studies stuff and they showed brilliance in other classes. It never ceased to amaze me when those kids would shine. Everybody's good at something. See, when I was growing up, I actually thought I was really ordinary. I thought I was really ordinary and not talented and and there wasn't a whole lot that I was very good at. You know, I was an average at a lot of things. I was kind of good at some things. But nothing I shined at. And the only people who were telling me that I was anything special were my parents. Did your parents do that to you? No. I didn't. Not you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But, but those were the only people telling me that. I remember back when I was in elementary school, I, I took this test to be in the advanced program. There were a lot of kids in that program. I took it, and my scores weren't good enough. And I didn't get in. And then in middle school, I was in pre algebra. I, my, my grades started slipping. I got kicked down to regular math. And in high school, I took my SATs, and my scores came back, and they were average. So I thought I was, I was average. I thought I was nothing special, no talent. And I am average in a lot of ways. But then when I was 17, I, I wrote my first rap. I, wrote my first, I was watching Snoop Dogg. And I, I didn't listen to Snoop Dogg. Anyways. I wrote my first rap, I was hanging out at my house with, with my buddy, and you know, we were bored, and he was like, yo, I've been writing these raps. I was like, cool, man, let's write some raps. And so I wrote my first rhyme, and I looked at it, and I was, I was like, hey, that's not bad. And then, you know, I, I liked it, so I kept doing it. And at that time, we would go to these rap shows, these, these places where these rappers would get up on stage, and they would just be rapping, and it was amazing. And then they would start freestyling, and I was like, man, that is crazy. How do these guys do it? And it was so good that, that I didn't believe that they were actually freestyling. I said to myself, no, no way. They, they must have wrote that at home, and now they're just up there pretending like they're good. And then I tried to freestyle myself. When I first started rapping, I was garbage. I was bad. I'd be like, yo, you don't understand. Yo, I'm the man. Then I get stuck. And then I, I keep trying to freestyle, and I kept getting stuck, and I kept stumbling through, and, and I wasn't very good. But I kept doing it. I kept doing it. And I got a little better and I got a little better. And eventually, I got to a point where I could do all the things that those guys were doing on stage. And, and I'm not sitting here telling y'all about like, how good I am. Honestly, I believe I may not be the most talented person in this room. But I tell y'all this because you understand that even if you have a talent, you still have to develop it in order to make it a skill. Even if you have raw potential, you still have to work at it and struggle through it in order to make it into something. That's what all great people do. Now, raise your hand if you have found your talent so far. Okay. <laughs> like five people. Awesome. I'll give you, I'll give you props for being brave enough to say so. Now, if you haven't found your talent yet, the reason why is because you need to discover your talents. You need to try different things in order to find what your talents are. And it would be Try to get your final. See, so think about this. Imagine a world where Steven Spielberg 
never picked up a video. Imagine a world where Steve Jobs never picked up a computer. Imagine a world where Amelia Earhart never got into the cockpit of an airplane. See, all of these people had to discover their talents, and you had to discover yours too. And the thing about it is they're gifts that are inside of you, but you need to go out and find them.